Hello everybody. Let's talk about the internal capsule today and let's see the location, the relations and the parts of the internal capsule. So before we go to the internal capsule, let's quickly revise what are the white fibers of the cerebrum. They are classified into three types, association fibers, projection fibers and commissural fibers. Association fibers are short fibers or long fibers alternatively which connect actually adjacent areas of gyri or sulci in the same hemisphere. They may be long or short association fibers. Projection fibers start off from higher areas of the cortex down to lower areas. They are a vertical connection between different parts of the central nervous system and commissural fibers combine and connect the similar areas on two hemispheres. For example, they could connect the two frontal lobes or the two parietal lobes. But today we are going to be talking about the internal capsule which comes under the classification of projection fibers. So basically the internal capsule is a continuation of the corona radiator and the fibers of the corona radiator converge to form the internal capsule. Since this concept is slightly confusing to understand, I usually compare the corona radiator and the internal capsule to a bouquet of flowers. Let's see how the comparison is uh, can be done. So the heads of the flowers are the neuronal cell bodies. These are located in the gray matter. You can see the uh, coloring on the side and the stems of the flowers are actually the corona radiator. I hope that is clear. Now where you tie the bouquet, the bow is what the internal capsule is. So all the stems, in other words, the corona radiator come close together and converge at the internal capsule where you are tightly bound. So the clinical implication is that if the fibers which are widely spread over the cerebral cortex are all converging at the internal capsule. So per area there are more fibers in the internal capsule which are actually much spread out in the corona radiator. Right? So a stroke of maybe 1 centimeter in the internal capsule can cause a bigger uh, damage than compared to a 1 centimeter stroke in the cortical region. All right? And what happens to the rest of the bouquet? The rest of the flower stems are the fibers passing down into the lower centers of the central nervous system. Now the internal capsule in a transverse section of the brain looks like this. In a coronal section this is where you can locate the internal capsule. Now let's zoom in and see what are the part, I mean what are the relationships of the internal capsule and for that let's first draw the internal capsule in this diagram. We can, we have the internal capsule actually has medial relations and lateral relations. Medially what we can see anteriorly is the caudate nucleus or rather the head of the caudate nucleus. Posteriorly, medially we have the thalamus. I hope that is clear in the diagram. And laterally, we have the lentiform nucleus, which is actually the putamen and the globus pallidus together. So outside, we have the putamen, the semicircle on the outside. The dark blue is actually putamen and the light blue is actually the globus pallidus. Now, what are the parts of the internal capsule? Let's let it go, those outlines, so that you can see the relationship. So the anterior limb is this part. It is seen to lie between the the head of the caudate nucleus and the lentiform nucleus that is the anterior limb. Then you can also see there is a posterior limb it is a V-like structure so the posterior limb is much lower and that is lying to in the posterior limb lies between the thalamus medially and the lentiform nucleus laterally. Between the anterior and the posterior limbs what we have is something called the genu the orange part. All right. Now the posterior limb is seen to continue beyond and backwards and this part of the internal capsule is called the retrolentiform part. Now there is a fifth part and for that we will have to blur the rest of the image so that the fifth part can be seen and this is a sublentiform part. As its name suggests it passes under the lentiform nucleus. It starts from actually the medial geniculate body of the thalamus and these fibers pass under the main fibers through the main fibers of the internal capsule and under the lentiform nucleus towards the auditory centers and the temporal lobe. So it carries auditory radiation. So with that we conclude the location, the relation and the parts of the internal capsule. Let's see, before we go let's label all the parts. We have the anterior limb, the genu, the posterior limb, the retrolentiform part and the sublentiform part. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.